hopping on to do a quick video. Thank you for joining me. My name is Renee, and if this is your first time to Pike Creek Farm, thank you so much for joining me. Today, I am going to, today I'm gonna to make a quick strawberry pie. I purchased some strawberries from our local FFA group. They come from Florida, they're picked, and they're driven up overnight and they're delivered to us. So it's a great fundraiser and they're really good strawberries from Florida. I used, I used most of them to make strawberry lemonade concentrate, two batches of this. My family loves this and I do too. One jar didn't seal, so I have some in the fridge. <laughs> but I have two quarts left. And I do have a video for making the strawberry lemonade. I will attach that here, put the I card up. I never know where it goes. But today I'm gonna to make a quick no-bake strawberry pie. It's actually a sugar-free pie. It's one that, well, I should, I'll say low sugar. It's not no sugar. It's a recipe that my mom got, it was in the 80s or 90s, from, it was called Healthy Exchanges, Joanna Lund. And it's really good and simple, and I can't tell you use sugar-free products in my opinion. So I have Cool Whip in the fridge. You can use whipped cream, you know, real whipped cream if you want. But I have a container of Cool Whip. I'm going to use that for the topping. I have sugar-free Jello and pudding. This is how you make the glaze. I have pie crust and. I got out my Pampered Chef one cup chopper thing. I bought this and I've hardly ever used it. I forget about it. So, but it's great for strawberries. So I've washed some of the strawberries. So we will get to chopping them up quick to put into this pie. And it's interesting when I, uh, when mom got this book, the lady explained how to make a graham cracker crust from scratch, you have to add more sugar and butter than what they have to do when it's manufactured because of their machinery. They can get it to press in so well. So that's why we use this. And hey, sometimes convenient things are nice and it's pie day. So I have to make a pie and I have strawberries that have to be used up. So it's gonna be strawberry pie. So I have two quarts of strawberries left from making the lemonade. So hopefully there's some left. And I did wash these. Um, hopefully there's some left to take to Juniper because I went there yesterday and I was talking about making the lemonade and she thought that I had strawberries with me. She wasn't very happy with grandma, <laughs> but she's okay. because then we went for a nice long walk. And today it's cold and rainy. So this thing, you just go like that. So she give me nice sliced strawberries. So let's get some of these tops cut off. Okay, there we go. So those into there. Some of them got stuck. I know those blades are sharp. So we'll go like that. <laughs> so this would be two cups according to that but I want a little bit more I am going to get probably another cup of strawberries to put in here so I'm going to go wash those and I'll be right back
turn on the mixes with the water over medium heat and stir until they're all combined and it starts to bubble and thicken slightly and then take it off and let it cool and put it in the fridge to slightly thickened. I let this cool some. I did put it in the fridge and I realized I should have used cook and serve pudding, but hey, it's done. I think I did this once before and it still turned out, but I like it with the cook and serve better. I like to separate the berries some and get it so everything is covered and it goes down inside. Now we're gonna put this in the fridge and fingers crossed it sets up. And then we're gonna put some, some whipped topping on top. In the fridge, this goes. <laughs> it did set. It set up firm. So I have the whipped topping. You could do fresh whipped cream, you know, whip it up yourself. But I'm taking the easy route with just what I had in the house. I had a lot of lemons outsides left from doing the strawberry lemonade. Just did some lemon zest. That's a big blob there. Let's <laughs> add a sprinkle of lemon zest to the top. I need to zest the rest and dehydrate them. Let's cut a piece. This is never my good point. Let's see if I can get a piece out. So here we go. <clears throat> Low sugar, strawberry pie, super easy, super fast, super easy, super fast, And super good. Happy Pie Day, everyone. See you next time at Pike Creek Farm.